Hello, everyone. I have another poem. I had just recently written this, wrote it, written it, <laughs> um, this week. Um, no, actually, this uh, last week I wrote it. Um, the week before Halloween. Um, I was actually watching the History Channel, one of those prophecy shows. And um, as I was watching it, um, cause they talk, they were talking about a, uh, fearing, a fearing God, um, a, uh, you know, a, an angry, aggressive God, um, that people of New Testament and even, well, Old Testament and even New Testament feared, and... This line came to me as I was watching that. And it was, uh, Shall I fear God as a flower fears the earth? And um, that line came to me and I'm saying, This has got to be a poem. You know, there's a poem in this. So I wrote it down and as I was watching the show, just letting the creativity come out. And, um, you know, sometimes for me it can be, it can come out right away, like 15 minutes. Sometimes over the course of an hour, or two, or sometimes three. You know, depending on the poem, and the inspiration, and what the, the poem, what my soul is trying to tell me about that particular situation. Because our souls are always talking to us. You know, our souls, you know, you've heard about that um, quiet inner voice, you know, when you want to be going in a particular direction and you should go and so kind of like gently reminds you of something inside you and it's like, well, maybe, you know, it's that soul illumination. And the more you listen to soul, and the more you do what soul requests, because we all have choice, um, the more soul will communicate with you. And you, know, you could just be walking down the street and get all sorts of information coming at you. You know, it's really uh, quite a magical magical time. I mean, the earth is a very magical place. I mean, after all, uh, it's a classroom. A classroom to teach us about creation and creativity and uh, living with each other. You know? So, here is the poem. Shall I God Shall I fear God as the flower fears the earth? Or the ocean fears the clouds? Or the rain? Shall I commune with God as I commune with the sun? While I lay on the beach? Or as I commune with the moon watching on a cool autumn evening? Shall I love God as the tornado loves the home or as the wind loves the tree? Shall I see God as a blade of grass sees the earth or as the ant sees the man or as a cell sees the body? Shall I hear God as a butterfly hears a bird or as the man hears the ants cry? To live, to live in a sea of perceptions centered in life's garden at one with God's being. I learn as God. 
and that's just some new ideas about God. You know, we all think of God as Zeus, pretty much. You know, an old man with a long beard, with a cane. <laughs> um, but how can that image be in us all? In all religions. And there's God in all religions. There's no true one religion. Every single religion is trying to understand the same force. You know, maybe maybe God's God's body is the universe. And that's what connects us to God because we live in the universe. Just some things to think about. Have you thought of God lately? Other than the programmed um, acceptance of your local church's views. I mean, church is good getting together, but it shouldn't impede your spiritual growth, your soul growth. So anyways, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day. Thank you for listening. Stay creative in the magic of life. And may the force be with you. Thank you. Good day.